All I wanted for Christmas this year was some good news coming out of Pakistan. And we got it. CBN News reports. A Christian man in Pakistan has been acquitted of blasphemy and released from prison after serving 10 years of a life sentence. International Christian Concern, ICC, reports the Lahore High Court has acquitted Imran Ghaffar Masi, a Christian sentenced to life in prison under Pakistan's blasphemy laws. According to Imran's family, they have moved into hiding following the acquittal due to potential threats from Islamic extremists. Whoa, the Christian's family members think that they're in danger from the religion of peace even after he's been acquitted? That's a little Islamophobic. The high court reached its decision in Imran's case on December 15th and ordered him to be immediately released. The development came as a shock to Imran's family. It is a day of resurrection for us, Naveed Masi, Imran's brother, told ICC. God has heard our cry, and we are very thankful to him. It's a Christmas gift for us. And for everyone watching this video, my friend. Back in 2009, Imran was accused of blasphemy after he took advice from his Muslim neighbor about burning a book. He was cleaning his family's bookshop in Hajwari town, located in Faisalabad, he was about to burn some trash he collected, which included some old books and papers, when he came across a textbook with Arabic writing. Concerned that the book contained religious writings, Imran asked Haji Liaqat Ali about burning the book. Ali told Imran to burn the book, so he threw it into the fire and walked away. When the book was partially burned, Ali returned and pulled it out of the fire. He used this partially burned book to falsely accuse Imran of burning a Quran. According to Imran's family, Ali wanted to take over the storefront leased to the family's bookshop so he could expand his building materials business, which is located next door. Well, I'm sure that no one jumped to any conclusions and that the Christian was given ample time to explain himself. News of the alleged Quran burning spread to local mosques, where they even announced it over their public address systems. A large mob of approximately 400 Muslims came to Imran's home, where they attacked him, his brother, and his father. Local police arrived on the scene and took Imran into custody. Meanwhile, a mob of 1,000 Muslims reportedly gathered outside the police station and chanted, Hang him who disgraces the Holy Quran. Christians are dogs. Imran is a dog. The police charged Imran with blasphemy and handed out copies of the charges against him in an effort to placate the mob. Police do love to placate mobs in Pakistan. Of course, if you always do what the mob wants, this encourages people to form mobs in order to get what they want. But hey, that's Pakistan. In January of 2010, the Sessions Court of Faisalabad sentenced Imran to life in prison and a fine of 100,000 rupees under sections 295A and 295B of Pakistan's blasphemy laws. Over the next 10 years, Imran's case was appealed to the Lahore High Court, but was postponed nearly 70 times. According to Imran's lawyer, the appeal passed through the offices of at least 10 justices. In Pakistan, false accusations of blasphemy are common and often motivated by personal vendettas or religious hatred. Currently, at least 24 Christians are imprisoned on blasphemy charges in Pakistan. So here's how justice works in Pakistan. If any Christian even slightly annoys any Muslim in any way, the Muslim can just start yelling, Hey, this Christian just insulted the Prophet! This Christian just insulted the Quran. Then a mob will form and attack the Christian and his family. Police will show up, but there's no serious investigation. If they don't throw the Christian in jail and charge him with blasphemy, they'll be accused of siding with the Christians against the Muslims, and that's just an insult to the Quran. Allah declares in Surah 3, verse 110 of the Quran that Muslims are the best of peoples ever raised up for mankind. Allah declares in Surah 98, verse 6 of the Quran, that Christians are the worst of creatures. 
If a Muslim says that a Christian insulted Muhammad or the Quran, and the Christian says he didn't, whose side are you going to take? So, the Christian goes to jail, and he's later convicted of blasphemy and sentenced to death or to life in prison. The judges know that the case is completely bogus, but they can't just let the Christian go, because if they do, they'll be targeted by the mob as well. So, the judges pass the case around for about 10 years or so until most people have forgotten about the Christian. Then, they quietly acquit him of the bogus charges. And the Christian and his family spend the rest of their lives in hiding because that's just how things work in Islam. Let's pray that this persecuted Christian family can escape that Sharia-compliant hellhole we call Pakistan and get to an American or European nation that will protect them. Of course, when they get to an American or European nation, they'll be told that Islam is a religion of peace and tolerance and that only racist, Islamophobic bigots are concerned about the spread of Sharia. But at least they'll be safe. For now.